Tonight, we're here at the Canadian Football Hall of Fame party, where our president, Ray Rita, will be recognized as the 2015 Canadian Football Hall of Fame inductee. Being inducted in the Builders category, Larry Retta has been a fixture in football at all levels in British Columbia for over six decades. Having coached at every level of amateur football, Retta has held positions of director and president of BC Junior Football and executive director of BC High School Football. A member of the BC Football Hall of Fame, Retta was presented with the CFL Commissioner's Award in 2011 for his contribution to the CFL. So I'm here today with Leah Rita, who is the president of Football BC and the 2015 Canadian Football Hall of Fame inductee. So um, Larry, I have a couple questions for you. Go ahead. Right. The first question is, um, how does it feel to be receiving such a great honor? Well, I, I think that, uh, you know, when you receive honors of various types, which I've been fortunate enough over my football career to do, it's not about me. It's about the people that, that have, uh, I've been associated with who've been involved either as coaches or players or directors in most cases, uh, guys that supported me and, and, and did a lot of the, a lot of the work that, uh, that doesn't get recognized when you get awards. And so, therefore, anything that I receive is really all about the people that have, you know, been with me on various boards. That, that's how I feel. It's not uh, something for me, it's for all of them. Very awesome. no introduction in this city. To join them there, what does that mean to you? Well, certainly, uh, I'm a lot to, uh, how can I say it, uh, below Bob's uh, ability to uh, develop football. He, uh, I had the privilege of, uh, I guess I was my younger career, to uh, have Bob as a minor football coordinator. Uh, and that was his responsibility, and I was just coming up. And he, he taught me a lot of different things. I worked uh, you know, with him and uh, uh, kind of uh, at certain, certain camps, clinics, things that we did kind of under his uh, jurisdiction. And uh, had, had the privilege of having calling him a friend. Uh, and. Uh, when he came back after having his, uh, I guess, Dallas and, uh, and his kids uh, down in Las Vegas and went down one time to watch him down there and he came back home. And it was just like a, a brother. And so it was uh, a real privilege to, to have him kind of tutor him in, in various areas of football. Uh, second question. Um, so were you really surprised when you found out about the news and who was the first person that you told well, this is, a lot, this is kind of a cute little story because uh, uh, I'm sitting at home one day and uh, the phone rang. And uh, the gentleman said, hey, Larry, it's Mark Cohan calling. He's phoning me. Mark <laughs> Cohan is phoning me. And I, I banged my head, like almost like it's a flash went off. And I said to myself, gosh, he's retiring. Maybe he's calling me about uh, taking over his job. <laughs> then a flash in the other side of the head went, said, stupid. Come on, he's phoning about something else. So I said, "Hi, Mark. What's going on?" <laughs> and so that's that's how I found out from Mark that phoned and said, "Hey, you're going to be inducted into the Canadian Hall of Fame, and uh, somebody from our office will be in touch with you." Uh, he said, "It'll ha be happening at Great Cup time. Congratulations, and uh, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you over at Great Cup time." So that's how I found out about it. And, uh, of course, told my wife. Didn't tell any of the family. Of course, they're a little upset now, but uh, they'll get over that. So that's how that first came about. That is a pretty funny story. <laughs> I like it. All right, and the last question is, um, you've been involved for a very long time. Um, is there a favorite story that you have um, being involved in football? Like well, you know, I, I don't know. After being up on the stage and listening to some of the stories that those guys told, uh, I'm not too sure, but I, I, I know that there's lots of stories about me and different things over the years that I've mostly done in, in some of the events at high school football and, and various things like this. So I really don't have you know, uh, a real story, but I, I would think that rather than a story, mostly the accomplishment of, uh, of uh, coming to work for high school football, as I did in 1985, and being able to take us to BC Place and uh, watching our, our teams be able to play in a, in a tremendous environment, it most likely is one of the, uh, not the unstung story, but an accomplishment of a story that I think uh, will last for a long time. Uh, and, and I didn't do it alone, but I, I guess I was the one that said to the board, hey, we got to move out of, you know, Empire Stadium was down and we were, we were playing in the mud and, the, and, and places all over the place that weren't suitable to, for the game of high school football. And I wanted uh, to personally see it grow. So I was able to communicate 
with the people at BC Place. We only we went there and just played the one year, I think the first year, we only had one game there. And then it became three, and now it's up to five. So that, I think, that in itself was a story of maybe my legacy, I don't know about that, but certainly uh, rather a story that, uh, that, that a lot of people don't know. Parents today don't understand, oh, you're playing a BC place, they take it for granted, but uh, certainly that was, uh, I think, the best of all. So that, that was it, but congratulations once again. Um, I think it's very deserving that you uh, were inducted. Um, yeah, and uh, congratulations. Thank, thank you very much. And again, thank you to uh, to all the people that uh, you know that I've been involved with over the years. <coughs> I'm sure that I'm sure that I look back. There's mostly thousands of people that you know since my you know when I look back at. Uh, I think it's uh, 56 years of being involved for, as a player coach, administrator, it's been fantastic. So thanks very much.